Indeed, the entire Diddy debacle appears to be causing quite a stir among the elite rappers. With palpable anxiety over the possibility of incriminating videos with Diddy surfacing online, the buzz around town is that the game is particularly on edge, with whispers suggesting not just one, but multiple tapes bearing his name might be in Diddy's possession. The bond between the game and Diddy was no secret, their camaraderie spanning years without a single recording session. Intriguingly, the game once hinted at luxurious escapades funded by Diddy, sparking speculation about their relationship's depth, especially given the game's rumored past in the stripping industry. The mystery of what transpired between the game and Diddy, along with the enigma of the alleged tapes, hints at a narrative far richer than what's visible. Reflecting on the past, we indulged in endless parties. There were moments we found ourselves in the studio, but never did I lay down a track. It was all about the revelry. Amidst this, Diddy's recent legal troubles brought to light a potential trove of clandestine recordings seized during raids on his properties. Accusations from Diddy's former associate, Lil Rod, suggest a sinister surveillance operation, likened to a hip-hop version of Jeffrey Epstein's scandals, with Diddy allegedly capturing footage of guests without consent. Meek Mill's name has been tossed into this whirlwind of speculation, especially after his vehement denials on social media. On the other hand, the game's transparency about his extensive travels and indulgences with Diddy, sans any musical collaborations, stands out. His candid discussions about the industry's hidden truths, including his assertions on Vlad TV about the prevalence of double lives among male artists, shed light on the complexities within. This discourse has reignited with Diddy's latest allegations, prompting some to wonder if Diddy might be linked to Usher's highly publicized legal troubles concerning STD allegations. The game's reflections on possibly unknowing collaborations with closeted artists further fuel the fire of speculation, especially his pointed remarks during his 2022 Drink Champs interview about the lavish lifestyle Diddy afforded him, raising eyebrows about the true nature of their relationship. As recent discussions resurface, particularly the game's account of their time spent partying in Atlanta, questions linger about the dynamics of their interaction and the implications of their lavish music-less camaraderie. This sparked quite the reaction online, with one observer noting hanging out with Puff is wild, but in Atlanta? That's on another level. Another chimed in with, Diddy really had the game under his wing. No wonder there's tension with his brother. Speaking of which, Big Face. The game's sibling subtly suggested that the bond between the game and Diddy might have been more profound. Sharing an image of Diddy's embrace from behind captioned, Was it ever about my street cred? Adding layers to the narrative. Figures like 50 Cent and the game's stepfather have alluded to the game's alleged past as a male stripper. In 2006, 50 Cent's mixtape featured a provocative cover photo purportedly from the game's dancing days, leading to widespread speculation. Yet, it wasn't until 2013 that Hodari Sababu, in a Pitchfork TV feature, seemed to confirm the rumors, revealing a family-run male exotic club where the game had reportedly performed. The enigmatic nature of the game's prolonged liaison with Diddy, filled with opulent gestures yet devoid of musical collaboration, raises eyebrows. What was Diddy's motive in lavishing the game with such extravagance? The online conjecture offers some provocative theories. Amidst swirling rumors, there's talk of the game being on edge due to potentially compromising tapes with Diddy stirring fears of what might surface if investigations intensify. Two years of that lifestyle is bewildering, remarks one fan, questioning the dynamics of their relationship. It's like he agreed to what Cat Williams warned against, suggests another, hinting at unspoken agreements within the industry. What's your perspective on the intricate web between the game and Diddy? Why do you suppose the game remained in Diddy's orbit without the promise of professional advancement? Dive into the discussion below and stay tuned for more insights.